This is a story worth telling. There are many great stories, but only a few truly inspire and intrigue us. This is a story about overcoming great challenges with heroes that are real people like me and you. It is also a story about perseverance that is distinctively Egyptian. It's about winning a fight and making history. These heroes have managed to help end suffering for many people. Here's the beginning from one of the champions of this story, Dr. Shirin Helmi. Every story has a beginning, and our story started when my father-in-law passed away from hepatitis C after being infected with blood transfusion after an accident. This caused trauma in the family, and at that time, a medicine was discovered for $100,000 per patient. And it was said by that time that Egypt has 10% prevalence and it's the highest worldwide. It wasn't easy. Every 80 seconds someone died of virus C worldwide. Treatment was costly, amounting to $100,000 and a long waiting list reaching 37 years in some countries. Yes, 37 years. And Egypt was one of the highest rates of infected countries in the world. But what is virus C? Chronic hepatitis C is a viral infection that lasts for lifelong and uh, causes liver uh, inflammation that could progress to serious liver damage like cirrhosis and uh, uh, liver cancer. If Egypt followed the worldwide treatment protocol of virus C, it would need $1 trillion for treatment. We have to find a way. And luckily, Raymond Shinazi, the discoverer of Sophospovir, visited Egypt and I met him and we found that we have things in common. He was born in Alexandria, my city, and we went to the same schools. And he said, you should find a way to treat all Egyptians from hepatitis C. And this should start by producing the raw material, the active ingredient. When Raymond Shinazi came, he said, why don't you make a factory for the API, for the active pharmaceutical ingredient, which is the raw material which can solve the problem for making the medicine for all Egyptians. Forming the ecosystem was the clue. When we started, we got Italian technology, Italian researchers. Also, we had to find another product which should be used with the first direct antiviral. So we had to acquire an American research company where we started clinical trials with DNDI, Drugs for Neglected Diseases Initiative, not only in Egypt, but also in Thailand and Malaysia. And we started having very good cure rates, over 97% for all genotypes. Then came the president's direct crucial question regarding this deadly virus. Can we eliminate virus C completely? This ignited the challenge. Adopt a dynamic, effective and quick plan for an alternative treatment. And the real challenge would be affordability, with a goal to bring down the cost from $100,000 to less than $50. And yes, Farco succeeded bringing the treatment cost to $48. This gave us the strength and the appetite to start towards documentation and accreditation, where we had four WHO pre-qualifications. The first for the API factory, the second for the European Egyptian pharmaceutical industry, which is the Finnish dosage form factory, the third to the bioequivalent center, the fourth to the product itself, Graziano, which has 12,095 pages of documents. We've imported eight mobile laboratories to do a medical survey and screening. Egypt Ministry of Health, through its Hepatic Viruses Committee, executed an integrated system to record, detect and follow up on cases and increase treatment centers. Thus, the 100 million health campaign was adopted on a national level and was implemented across the country. Every single person with virus C was detected and treated. This took time, effort and willpower to reach the 100 million goal and fulfill the needs of Doctors Without Borders as well as other leading scientific authorities worldwide.
We then moved to diplomats, where we had to find people to be advocates and ambassadors for a world free from hepatitis C. After we found some strikes in Europe in front of some of the international liver conventions, saying what about the people in Europe? We can't wait in the waiting list for years and years. From here emerged the idea of tour and cure. An international campaign was ignited, where famous figures and celebrities from Egypt and the world participated, including Messi, Daniel Alves, Mohamed El Shorbagi, Rami Ashour, Ahmed Hossam Mido, and singer Mohamed Hamei. My name is Tim Coleman. I am a documentary filmmaker and a journalist and a photographer. I've had hepatitis C now for probably 37 odd years. That treatment, those drugs cost 60,000 pounds in England. Um, and I need three, there's the three months, I need six months. So that would be 120,000 pounds in total, which is a huge sum of money. I picked up the in-flight magazine for Air Egypt Air and there was an advert for Tour and Cure. And it was saying, you can get the new direct acting antivirals very cheaply. They were advertising for foreigners to come to Egypt and get these drugs um, because they are a fraction of the price. He looked at my results. He said, OK, we need to prescribe you sofosfavir and teclatosfavir and ribavirin for six months. And he generously offered me the treatment for free. Then finally, this absolute nightmare could be over. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you very, very, very much. Start your treatment now at torincure.com. In February 2018, I was invited to attend the Trilateral Symposium attended by the Director General of WHO, WTO and WIPO to present the model that Egypt has used to combat virus C. It happened and Egypt was transferred from the highest prevalent country worldwide to the first to treat all waiting list and first to screen 70 million Egyptians out of 80, age six and up, and treat them all. And the prevalence of not only virus C, but also diabetes, blood pressure, and obesity. This gave Egypt a very good tool to manage and to measure the cost for health insurance, where Egypt is starting to apply now and will reach all Egypt by 2030. What an incredible story! Yes. You see why we felt this is a story worth telling. A story of incredible success in defeating a deadly virus. A story to inspire future generations as a model and an example to be followed. And for them to know that nothing is impossible with sincere willpower and determination. And of course, God's blessing, everything could be achieved. This is a very successful uh, public health project. And I want to congratulate you. Uh, for the excellent work. In September 2019, during the World Economic Forum Convention, we had the platform for 2025 Africa Free from Hepatitis C. We started by the orders of President Sisi to the Egyptian Ministry of Health to convey and transfer technology for the ecosystem, which was made in Egypt successfully, to other countries in Africa. Not only this, 
but also we started by building primary clinics with labs and pharmacies, which is going to be in five countries in the coming five years, 1,000 clinics. They're going to be increased to 10,000 clinics in 50 countries in 10 years. With this, we will have the reach not only in big cities, but also small villages with technology centers that can educate young people and children to get the knowledge for how to make small businesses and to utilize the resources so that we can upgrade the people living in these villages. Africa has a challenge. More than 90% of its medications are imported from outside Africa. While in Egypt, we have achieved more than 96% of our medications manufactured in Egypt. We're working with the different parties in Africa to develop Africa pharmaceutical industrialization. So we could build 10 manufacturing facilities in Africa in the coming 10 years. After finishing Africa, we have Southeast Asia, Malaysia, where we have a compulsory license, and also in South America. And by the year 2028, the patent will be void, so we can complete the treatment of the rest of the world by the year 2030. We are telling our story so that our country and the world to know a story of true dedication and devotion. We care about human health. Farco Corporation. Your health. Our mission.